a little update on the sale of the van. It hasn't sold yet. It, we've had a lot of inquiries. Uh, we were holding it for a little while for somebody who turned up not to have the funds, but we have someone else looking at it and it's looking pretty promising. So hopefully by midweek, I will be able to tell you guys good news, <laughs> but we'll see. So I want to show you guys something I got in the mail. As I've been imagining what my travels are going to be like in a smaller vehicle, I've been trying to think of ways that I can make it more convenient to cook meals on those days when I'm going to be kind of stuck when like if it's raining outside all day and I want to cook a meal and I want to do it from inside the vehicle. I thought the easiest thing to do is going to be just like in backpacking, making like just add water type meals on those days. And so I'm experimenting with different backpacking meals and travel meals uh, that all you gotta do is add water. So I ordered the, this Leafside subscription and I'm not affiliated. This is not an advertisement. I haven't even tried these. Uh, I just got them and I haven't even gone through the, the packaging yet. I, I'm, I swear, I just opened up this box. <laughs> I'm excited because I love trying new foods. These are organic, 100% whole plant-based meals. And I got Thai veggie noodle, pesto and pepper pasta, a tropical bliss smoothie, now, these meals are not the type where you can just add water to the package and let it sit. They're, they're for traveling, but they're not necessarily considered backpacking meals unless you want to take them out, put them into a pot, which is what you do. You add these to a small pot, bring the water to a boil or add boiling water, whichever way, and then let them steep for, does it say on here? Let's see, for 10 minutes. So, and I don't know if they'll all be, I think they're all 10 minutes, but yeah. So I'll let you guys know how I like them as far as flavor and everything goes. Now they are supposed to be healthy and very nutritious. I think they said two meals combined will make, will give you all the nutrients you need in a day. So, The smoothie requires a blender, which will be no problem because I'm planning to have a power station with an inverter and I'll be able to blend them up and eat them. Even if I can't get out of the vehicle, I can still eat healthy. But I mean, I suppose I could set up an awning, right? <laughs> Either way, I'm planning to start doing a lot more backpacking too. And so this is a good idea. There's other companies I want to give a try to. And so over the course of the next few months, as I try out different meals, I'll share my experience with them with you guys. So I've been doing my research, looking at all kinds of vehicles and I, I, I'm still leaning toward the Jeep. I think that's probably what I'm gonna end up with. And I've been imagining how I'm gonna, you know, build it out and <laughs> what I wanna add to it, the kind of the sleeping arrangements. Uh, I won't be able to do everything at once because, you know, I, I doubt I'll have the money to do everything at once. But over this this year, I plan to make it a pretty cool camping vehicle. And if I don't get the Jeep, I'm gonna do the same with whatever vehicle I got, make the most of it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm excited to, to a new experience, a new way of travel, and I think it's gonna get me to a whole lot more places. You know, it's really all I've been able to think about. I just been, and I, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time, you know, just dreaming about all the possibilities, but, you know, I can't help it. I'm obsessing with the, you know, what I'm gonna do until I actually get that vehicle. 
you know, it, it's, it's become my main focus. <laughs> That's just the way I am. <laughs> oh, soon, hopefully very soon. Uh, right now I'm in my studio. I haven't been doing a lot of artwork. Um, the studio really needs to be organized. I'm going to work on that and I'll give you a short little shot here of what I'm dealing with because it is just a mess. I have two rooms that I work out of. The room in the back has been primarily used for storage for the past couple of years. Uh, when my mother passed away, I brought her stuff in. I've been slowly cleaning that out. And then because it was already had, it already had stuff piled up in it, I started piling stuff from the house that was in it. Right now, I've got things from the van inside it. So I want to get that organized. And then uh, it'll allow me more space to get this to where it's functioning a little better for me. They're small rooms, you know, but, you know, I know I can work in them because I, I, I have in the past. My entire last exhibition, which had huge paintings in it, was created in this, this room right here. So, uh, so this is a short update this week. And hopefully toward the middle of the week or then, or by next weekend, I'll have some good news for you guys. Uh, I'll definitely share with you what I think of these meals. <laughs> That's this week's update. <laughs> Bye, you guys.